Hello, good evening, good naba, and welcome to Train Simulator. I am the Angry Welshman, hello, and I am joined tonight by Sam of Blast Pipe Productions. Hello. And Tom of the Dark DJ Productions. Can't even get my name right, I don't know. Anyway, hi. I'm joined by Bob of uh, Dark Bob Productions. That'll do. Close enough. So, tonight we are doing something slightly different than what was on the screenshot for this live stream. Uh, <laughs> basically, um, we were going to do it on the Pennine Valley Railway, and then I thought, well, actually, Sam basically told me I was being an ass, and I never stream on any other routes. So, I thought we'd Pretty much. Uh, try try something new. Uh, we're going to steam. We're going to steam in Scotland with the Highland Railway loco, and we've got some Highland Railway wagons as well. Um, you might notice they're all whiskey, um, empty whiskey barrels. So the people of Scotland have run out of whiskey. So we, it is of vital importance that we get the whiskey to the distilleries. What and, a travesty. I know, right? I just got to adjust my train sim volume again, because otherwise I'm going to be deafened by Chris's safety valves. Uh. So, um... Yeah. Let's get going. So as you can see from the weather in the game... It is absolutely humping down with snow. So we I need. No, I didn't put quite like that before, but okay. Yeah. Phrasing. So we'll uh, get a move on. So because it's humping down with snow, we've also added a absolutely massive snow plu on the front. Snow plu. Snow plu. <laughs> I've got a snow plu. A blue snoo, basically. Oh, what about snoo snoo? Anyone want snoo snoo? Snoo snoo? Hey, future armor. Hey! Someone you got shall it. be okay. killed by death by snoo snoo. Nice. So, I, I haven't actually driven this loco very much. I've done a few uh, bits just for... Oh, we're wheel slipping already. It is Sam. You cannot get the staff, can you? And there's Banker. Sam saying he... Uh, Took how many mar oh, pullmans did you take? Um, I took were it twelve. I took over the pen. I think it was twelve or ten. I can't remember which. It were a fair few. Well, Although if you think the wheel slip, uh, uh, if you think the wheel slip is bad now, just wait until next week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening next week? Next week is the fabled London North Western Railway Mega Stream. Oh, is it fabled? Is it? Apparently, it's it's yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we're driving all three of the Caledonia Works uh, London North Western locos. I'm assuming on incredibly unauthentic routes. Um, we're driving it on the Cockermouth Keswick and Penrith Railway, so it's actually fairly suitable. Apart from the time period, but. <laughs> well, yeah. Love it. All of those engines were like, they fucked off on their holly bobs into scrapyards by like 1914 and there's nowhere to run them. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Guys, hear that? Sam can count! A Yorkshireman can count! I can't, there's actually seven. Oh, He's only got seven fingers, see, because he's from Yorkshire. Well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Read whoa. three, three. <laughs> Those Yorkshiremen are well known for having the full amount of fingers. It's the tight pockets and tight wallets that we're also known oh, for. Oh, right, yeah, of course. Hence why I were asking you to send me over those files so I don't have to splash out on a UKTS swim for it. Oh, right, okay. You're half in the day. Ooh, above 10 miles an hour we have the, um, the snow. Blue. Yeah. The snoo. The snoo snoo. I might go for the Christmas livery. Christmas What's that, the livery. drum and dapple green? Yeah. Yeah, man, that's a good livery. Pretty much anything above 20% reg and I just wheel slip. Bizarre. Why aren't you just incompetent oh, stuff? Hang on, hang on, hang on, Reese. Did you do the thing that you're not meant to do, which is start the journey coupled up to your train? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you plankton. Do you know what? I'm going to have a go at taking Tom's advice and see what happens. Do, I might, do you know what? I might restart and do it. 
Yay! Snoo, he snoo heavy fog. Snoo snoo fog. <laughs> snoo snoo fog. While I'm in the scenario editor, I'm going to also add another loco as a backup, just in case. I would offer you my loco, but he's currently busy. Pulling a train. He's pulling a train, can't you see? Actually, no, you can't. There's only one person who can see what I'm doing, and it's some random dude on um, Steam who requested to watch my video for some reason. Fair enough. I've no idea why, but okay. <laughs> what livery should my other loco be? We'll have the one in um, LN. Christmas livery. What, what livery is that? Drummond Apple Green. Oh no, is it Drummond or Jones Apple Green? I can't I remember if it's... I can't remember if it's a Cummins or a Drummond. One of them has the um, like the red line cylinders and that as well. It's not Cummings, and Cummings is all over like olive green. Yeah, it's not Cummings. Um, what's a Drummond one look like? Drummond? It's the Drummond one, I think. I got it. So I've just put some backup locos. I've also moved the loco forward. So what? Tell us um, what this does again, Tom. What what does? Moving the loco in front of the the train. Oh, basically, what it does is that if you've got a concept together and you've got a player logo on it, it the game calculates the entire weight of the load as part of the same concept. Whereas if you start light engine, the game only calculates your light engine, your like your loco and tender or just loco. Therefore, it doesn't give you the wheel slipping because basically the game is thinking that you've got like you know your train is is X amount, so you're going to have wheel slip, whereas if you connect it without the um, with the loco only, the game is only taking into account the locomotive weight, so it's not going to slip as much, basically. Difficult to explain, but it's, it's basically to do with physics. Physics and science. I tried trying to explain to Gwil the other day how superheater works, that was, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Well, I can open the reg a lot more. That's certainly uh, obvious. That's an advantage, you know. Oh, there you are. I've opened it up pretty much halfway now. And I'm not wheel slipping. Does that mean that my advice works? Your advice did actually work. Hey! Try not to sound so surprised, Reese. I know. Oh, Highland Winter Wolf has just donated $10. Thank you very much, uh, Highland. He says, hey up, hope you guys are doing well. Have a theory that Reese was late because he was haggling over the price of chicken pies with Barry. I, love, oh, I, 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 I do love how that was mentioning something to do with me as well, but Reese is getting the money for it. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> That's, it's the best way, Tom. It fucking isn't. Go I'm, away. I'm earning money for your, your, You're earning money off your my show. Back. <laughs> I freaking love you so much, pal. Honestly. <laughs> Keep it up, guys. Just uh, the next super chat. Just uh, leave a message. You know, donate some money and say, uh, "Great, that Dark Railway series is really good, isn't it?" <laughs> Thank you, Bell Boys. Right, next time I do a stream, someone better donate something, otherwise I'll go into a corner and cry. Wait, Wait you don't do that anywhere? Oh, I, oh yeah. Okay, I'll go cry more. I'll go. I'll go <laughs> flood my car with tears. How about that? Right. Well, we're actually doing a bit better this time. I have actually been able to set off. Um, so everyone, uh, who sorry, who's the best advisor of train sim stuff? Me, yes, me. Well, definitely not Reese. Well, yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even trust Reese with a pork pie, to be quite honest. <laughs> well, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> is it? Uh... It is actually. I'm offended. Oh. Well, you can continue to be offended. No one cares. I'm offended. I'm offended. Oh, I'm gonna go and cry in the corner. Okay, anyway, I'm, I'm gonna go cry and shut down my YouTube channel. I mean, wait, what? I think we did that with Angry Welsh from 2012. Yeah, well, no, I tried. For some reason, I can't delete it. What? It won't let you shut it down. That's no, because alert. I've managed to recover the account, like <laughs> log in to the Google account, but every time it comes up with shutting it down, it says a phone number to do the verification thing. But oh, it's let like, me guess, you haven't got the phone number anymore. It's like a phone from about five or ten years ago. <laughs> Amazing. So it won't let me delete it, which is a bit BS. Right, so, uh, yeah, I'm off and running. Sam, are you driving as well? Um, I will be in a second. That's the difficulties. <laughs> 
No, I'm just loading into the scenario. So we're on the space side line. You might remember this from... Oh, I think we streamed the 439 class. That was the last time I ran on this route. And I remember saying at the time, do you know what? I think I'm going to try and run this route more often. Because it is a really nice route. It's from Signalbox Games. Um, I haven't actually added the... Actually, it's not called Signalbox anymore, is it? No, um, Love. Levine if, Grandin at the moment. Let me, I think I might still have it on my phone. What were they called? Uh, Rails Developments, the space side line. So later on I'll add a, a link in the description below because I wasn't actually planning to run this route tonight. So hmm. that's why I didn't uh, add it in the screenshot or anything. Well, when was it? About half seven-ish when we decided what we were actually doing? It was more 7.48. <laughs> about 12 minutes before the stream starts. Yeah. Because, you know, we're organised. Oh, we're totally organised. I don't believe you. So, let's have a little look at this loco then. We're in the cab now. There's a ship's steering wheel on, in the cab. That's so you can control if you go left or right. Are you on about the handbrake? Yeah. That's Chris right, thinking so. of me, that is. He thought of me. He's decided to add a ship's helm in the cab. He's added a helm, yes. So I could be in the cab going diddly But he's also added a Bible and I'm extremely offended by that. Excellent. Same. Um anyway, let we have a little look. There's a shovel in the cab, but there's no pie. We have got a cup of tea and a lunchbox. Oh and there's a pie. So I think those are, uh, those are well needed on a day like today. They are, actually. It's a very cold winter's day. We're ploughing snow. Ploughing <laughs> we're not snow. Ploughing. You're, not, you're ploughing snow rather than your missus today. Ooh. 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 That's normal for each. I mean, what? Well, she hasn't talked to me for three weeks, so, you know. Sorry? Well, who can really blame her? Shut up. <laughs> to be fair, Drake rarely talks to me anymore. She doesn't like me either. Right. Was it since the incident with the cucumber? No, it was actually the one to do with the mint pie and the banana boat. Oh. Yeah, we didn't know about that one, and we're not going to go into it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot Barker Shellhorn says he can imagine me in the cab singing sea shanties. While flying off a cliff at Dover. Somebody's mentioned the special funnel on this loco. Um, oh yeah, the louvers on the chimney, yeah. What is the purpose of that then? That is an excellent question which no one really knows. Although I think my theory is probably, well, the, the main leading theory is that they were an experiment in smoke lifting, I'd imagine. As the loco is moving forward and airflow is going through the, um, and coming forward towards the locomotive, that those louvers are open. So air is being like drawn through up those little cuts into the chimney, and it's helping to lift the smoke. Um, I've got to really agree. Effective. I think that is think... possibly the best theory that people have come up with. Yeah, I reckon that is probably the best theory for it. The only alternative thing I could see would be to do with drafting, but I don't think you'd get a strong enough breeze through to really affect it. Well, the drafting wouldn't really be affected by the chimney in that state. It'd be more to do with the firebox and the. Um, tubes arrangement I'd imagine and the dampers and all that, yeah. all that jazz so I think it's probably more to do with the smoke lifting experiment and it must not have worked because it wasn't really implemented anywhere else I can't see a thing excellent <laughs> sounds about yeah, right this, um, this snow does make it a bit difficult doesn't it but hey Reese, what do you think of the beautiful Highland Railway decals on this low car? I think they look yeah. really good actually oh, thank god for that I think they look absolutely awful. I think you should sack yourself, Sam, immediately. Woohoo! Time off! Hey! Indefinite so, time off. So, you know, Sam did the Highland Railway decals on this loco. It took me like a year to do them. Which is why it's only taken up till now for it to be released. Lol. Pretty just, much, just yeah. Just wait, this, the firebox oh, door is off. quite unusual. Oh, yeah, because it's, like, it's got like the same sort of louvers as the... Um, Chimney. That actually brings in an important question then. Maybe that's something to do with drafting. Maybe it's something to do with airflow through the firebox. Maybe that was the idea. The ones on the firebox star would be, yeah. Hmm. Keep yeah. continuous airflow through the fire or something. 
actually also thinking about it think about it the highland railway is up in scotland it's very cold up there in the winter perhaps mm. that's a, a way of heating the cab if you like like a way of excess heat being vented into the cab to keep the crew warm while well, the fire I'd say, is closed. i would say it's like it lets cold air into the fire which could be damaging but then again like you said it's scotland and all the air's cold anyway so i don't even think it's that it would be that the the um air being sucked into the well, actually maybe it is to do with air being sucked into the fire because it if you possible. have a look if you have a look at those louvers on the um, fire road door, no, no, they are open. But they are only quite small, aren't they? You could be right with that, Tom, you know. It might be like a bit of a heating thing. Central heating on a steam train, whoever thought of that. <laughs> Tell you what, this snowplow's pretty cool. Kind of need to be a child object on um, another loco, though. That'd be awesome to see if this actually sorts that out. I can think yeah. of something it could do with a giant snow plow on the front. Oh, Elliot. Mm. Apparently I got Elliot's name wrong. Yeah. Did I say Barker or did I say Baker? I might have said Barker. Oh, somebody's just left an interesting comment. Joe Light Railway. Um, he's made a comment about the model of the snow plow with a shark face on it. So oh. That would be quite um, interesting. I, 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 I think I have actually got that. It's the old JT one. It the is, JAA. yes. Yeah, that's got a shark face on it, I think. What speed are you up to, Reese? Uh, 25. Oh, taking it steady. Well, I am ploughing snow. Yeah, I'm ploughing snow at 50. Well, yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't be. <laughs> Things, it's but fine. Mind. Have you not seen Top Gear Reese? All you need is more power. Of course. If there's snow in the way, it'll move if you go fast enough. You'll scare it off. That's right. Above 50 mile an hour snow is, is not damaging at all. Nope. I don't mind being that thing about it's not speed that kills you, it's stopping quickly. That's it's, what gets it's you. It's suddenly becoming stationary. <laughs> That's what gets you, yeah. <laughs> Hey, you might be right, the brakes don't work. What? Why don't the brakes work? This is unacceptable. Well, it's more a case of it's cold and snowy, and the rails are covered in snow and ice. There was snow and frost. Loading the vans with crates of beer. Or loading the wagons with crates of whiskey. The flying Scotsman was ready to go. Do you know what? I think we should make a video on that. Like dun, a parody. Dun, 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 The problem was the oh. driver was absolutely hammered and he couldn't drive. Do you know that minefield actually? I, I think it was either... It must have been either Chris or Riley, someone. But they did um, something called the Kip, the Kip of Flying Was Red. And it's basically a parody of that where the train just like, instead of going off from the docks, it goes straight into the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute monstrous legend. I'm just passing through Nethy Bridge. The flying kipper was ready to go. Yeah, Unfortunately, the driver had left the reverser in full yeah, full backwards. Full ahead backwards to starboard. That's the one. Save. Literally, everybody in the chat needs to remind me to save the game. Right, yeah, nobody in the chat remind me to save the game, okay? Everyone just super chat him and say how awesome the DR is. That will oh, distract yeah, him long enough to crash. Because then he can counterclaim how the Penrith Valley is better. Probably. The flying the Welshman was ready him. to go. Flying Welshman was red. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. I got a bit of loco sway going on. Yeah. It's probably that big heavy plow on the front that's off balance, isn't it? I'm gonna pull forward and do a backflip. It's just no, like... front flip. Well, we. How long have we been going now? 12 or 13 minutes, I still haven't stopped blowing off. Oh, I've been going 9 minutes and I've stopped blowing off. I've been going downhill most of my journey so far, so I'm blowing off regardless. But did you start at the other end, did you? Or are you not involved in oh, this I'm not, at all? Oh, no, 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 I'm, 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 just, I'm just on the DR with Rick, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, look, Neffy Bridge. 
I didn't realise that my uh, my service was um, required on the um, what is it? It's not it's not the Bayside line, is it? Bayside, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tell I'm you what, though, Tom. You can be involved in the cell and WR one if you want. Could do, yeah, because we're you're doing um what? Well, Tom, all three of them. I love how Sam's just inviting people to streams now. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm going to so. go out and find people off the street and just go, hey, you want to join us on a YouTube stream next week? Okay. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I bet I could find a lot of people who would. You'd probably find a lot of people in my server, that's for sure. Oh, yes. Squeak, squeak, squeakity, squeak. Clonk, 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 clonk. Squeak, squeakity, squeak, squeaking. If I don't um, get where that's from, you're a legend. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Emperor's New Groove. Squeakity squeak and squeak. Oh, that was like my favourite film for years. There was, a thing on, there was a thing on Facebook about that and they were like, oh yeah, by the way, that film is now 20 years old. Really? And I was Jeez. like, oh my god, I feel so old. But at least you are so old. I'm only as young as I feel, and I feel ancient. I mean, I love the Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> came out. I still think it's a cracking film. It's a cracking comedy film. It holds up, I think. It really does. Yeah. Unlike some other comedy movies. But we're not going to elaborate. Right. Reese, I'm going to run as a stopping passenger, I think. Unless oh, yeah. I get bored of that. Okay. Where did you start from, by the way? Uh, Burtagarten. Uh, where are you starting from, Sam? Burtagarten. Oh, okay, I'm starting from Dufftown. Ah, right. So I'm going to be coming down the opposite way to smash into one of you at some point. Plowing my way through the white magic power dust. Actually, there's a point. Tom, are you taking a snowplow? Probably not. But in that case, I think you'll find it's probably Reese that's going to plow into oh, you yeah, to see the head of me. Of course, what's going to happen is hit me and like, it'll just, I'll literally go flying off the track where I've been hit. <laughs> you, you'll just go up and straight over the top of him? Sweet. And stop. And oh, how about that? That's actually a really good stop. Ah, oh, that'll do for me. The bad thing about doing um, a scenario in the snow is that I can't see the F5 uh, information. Yeah. Excellent. And, well, you can't really see much at all, can you? No, it's, it's the visibility is not very good tonight. <laughs> well, we can't see because he's blind anyway. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I knew Mark would mention me plowing you, Tom. But no, what? Mark, um, <laughs> this is going to plow into Tom, cheeky. Oh, fuck's sake, I knew that would happen. No, not happening, no, I'm going to close my anal cavity immediately. Aww. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Ooh, I might take the red livery one. I might take the um, crimson. One. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what? I have plans for this lurker. I have many plans. I hope you're not going to eat it. Damn it! <laughs> um. Oh God, no! That view's no good. I can't use that view. Um. No, I have got Furnace Railway and London North Western Railway plans for this lurker. Hmm. Oh, a nice river. But, yeah, that's the river Spey. Is it? Hence, hence the name of the line. Speyside. I yep. mean, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm hoping that Chris is going to do some tweaks to the model for me. Um, just to make it a bit more not Stroudly. Here. Oh, that's just rude. How dare you disrespect my Lord and Savior Stroudsley. I'm joking, I don't really like Stroudsley that much. No, it's, it's not major tweaks. It's things like um, giving it a normal cab roof rather than the square one. Right. Wait, that, which logo is this again? Is that for Australianisms? Um, well, it's not actually for Australianisms, believe it or not. Although, uh, there is actually potential to tweak this one to be Australian, but... Yeah, this is mostly full of furnace and London North Western liveries. Just to make it a little bit more in keeping. 
But I am looking forward to sticking furnace red on this. That's going to look very nice. It does actually sound like it's working as well. Oh yeah. I mean that'd be handy to know that the engine's, wor engine's working. <laughs> the thing is, like I find a lot of locos in train sim, is you open the reg a little bit, or you open the reg full, and there's like no difference or very little difference between that sound. Whereas yeah. I love it when you open a reg full and you actually feel, or you from the sound of it, you actually feel like it's really biting in and giving it everything. When it actually has to tap the strain. Let the train take the strain. Let the train take the strain. Right, there we go. I've set my part. Okay, let's do this. Oh, we got a uh, distant signal at danger. It's a danger. The signal was at danger. But, this, but the home signal was down. There was snow and frost. Again. Again. Men hustled and shouted, loading the memes, I guess. Do I you still have haven't me? stopped blowing off. Have you closed your blower? Yeah, blower's off. Blower's off, dampers off. Dampers, dampers are open. Right, close your dampers then. If the dampers are open, then you're generating steam. Because the damper basically force air into the firebox. Yeah. Yeah, and that causes more it to keep making steam, so it'll blow off more. But surely it should, it should use up the steam. No. No, it That's makes more. It makes more steam, because it's forcing air into the firebox, which is generating more oh, steam. Oh, sorry, no, what, no what I'm on about. I mean, it should be using up the coal, because I haven't, I haven't fired. Right, okay, that should be fine, but if your dampers are open, you're going to have problems with, well, I say problems, you're going to be, but if you're letting the coal go down, it should be fine. Like, I'm not even going to bother, I've turned the dampers off, all of that jazz, I'm just going to go along until it starts losing steam. What you're doing, Reese, is essentially, you're, you're like working a blacksmith's forge and pumping air into it with a bellows. Well, I'm familiar with how dampers work, it's just surely the fire should have gone down by now. I've done how many miles? Well, what's your well, um, fire not mass? necessarily. I mean, the fire doesn't necessarily burn quicker just because it burns hotter. It just burns more efficiently. <coughs> so you're not necessarily using up coal quicker, you're just using it more efficiently. That's if that makes sense. Fun. This route is actually a really nice route. Is your fire oh, yeah. at 690, race? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It starts going down, it starts being less efficient after about 500 odd. I'm trying to let it burn down. Yeah. It would be nice if there was an option that you could reduce that before, like, in a scenario editor. Yeah, I've said that before. It'd be nice if you had, like, a... You can have it so that you start off with, like, your boiler pressure about 20 bar... Not 20 bar, 20 or 30 PSI below the blowing off valve, so you've got time to maybe start running without it blowing off immediately, but... I, I, believe, I believe that's actually a train sim issue. Could be, yeah. Um, I've had a look at the scripting for it myself, because I was fiddled with the round we're changing boiler pressures. Yo-ho, um, fiddle-dee-dee. But yeah, basically, um, when you put a loco into train sim, it always starts it with a full boiler of pressure. So it'll always start it at or very close to the safety valves. That's why I usually, when I run something, if I don't want the valve blowing off all the time, I set the reverser really far forward, throttle the engine like mad when I start off to let the boiler pressure go down a bit, and then I go yeah. back to driving normally. I think the only way you could get around it would be... Um, I think you can make the starting fire mass different from the ideal fire mass. Um, but the I issue is when... Anyway, wouldn't it? Yeah, the issue with that would be, you could start with really low fire mass, but then you just wouldn't have any steam generation until you put coal on and built it up again. Yeah. Yo, not that we're telling you how to suck eggs or anything, Reese. Egg sucking. I'm going to curl if you want. Egg sucking. Ooh. Ooh, it's time for a screenshot. I've got like... 
Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got ten of the 45 foot Caledonian coaches behind this thing. Nice. I'm hoping, hoping it'll be, uh, it'll be all good. Well, she's a very capable loco, let's not forget, when she was built, she was actually the most powerful class of loco in the country. And then she turned into a 4F. Well, yeah, but she was the most powerful loco in the country when she was built, so, you know. Shows how much loco has progressed in the early 1900s. Because mm. this was the 1890s, this was built. 1894. Yep. One of the things I find intriguing is that Chris has modelled the um, tablet catcher on the driver's side of the cab. No, fireman's side of the cab side. No, he's driver's side side. Yeah. Where's the tablet catcher? On the it's on the side of the cab. On the outside side. of the cab. Yeah. If you look at the left-hand cab race, you'll see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like a claw. The claw. Claw. It comes out to kill your friends. It'd be yeah, ironic if you were uh, leading out to exchange the token, it just rips your head off. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's jousting. What you do is, when you're going past another engine, you drop it and you see if you can take them out. Yes. Whoever knocks them off the rails wins. A duel, how exciting! When is Stephanie coming into the series? Yesterday. Next. Did, did She's not. We've wrote her out. We've written her out because she uh, had an inappropriate relationship with one of the other characters. I'm not yeah, again. Oh man, that was a mess. It was a mess. Yo ho, fiddle dee dee. Could be worse. How Yo could ho, it be worse? Fiddle dee dee. Stephanie had an affair with me. <laughs> I mean, what? With you, I'm gonna have to. Well, add, no, not me. But, with, you know. Over the hills now. <laughs> what Mis happened? Mr. Mr. Stevenson had an inappropriate relationship. <laughs> okay. You gotta add the fun in as well, Larry. Yo ho, fiddle dee dee. <laughs> I had two in, late in late 2017, <laughs> as part of Operation U Tree. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna call it just Operation Blade, if anyone remembers that. Nope. Good. <laughs> I'm not gonna elaborate any further, just to confuse everyone. Ooh, Anthony's called you out, Sam. What's he said? He said better somebody ring better ring Bahamas, because you've been cheating. <laughs> huh? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Well, oh. to be perfectly honest, Nunlow's my main love, not the Hamas. I was going to uh, say, it's all about Nunlow, isn't it? With you? It is all about Nunlow. Don't you mean Dinlow? No, it's <laughs> Funlow. They call her Nun Nunlow Funlow for a reason. Mm, yeah. So basically, if, if anybody happened to be walking past, um, you know, walking around on the Keeping Worth Valley Railway one day, they're just going to see Sam in the shed with Nunlow, just fucking the shit out of it. And then Bahamas out in the yard or something, just crying her eyes out. No, 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 well, Bahamas you, you gets fucked up You were thought it was uh, Brasso he was cleaning it with. <laughs> it's actually new. <laughs> Joe Light Railway is asking, can we run City of Truro in a live stream? No. no. Do you know what, uh, Reese? I can't remember the last time I did run City of Truro, to be fair. No, but soon we may be able to run an even better Great Western 440. Yes, and I cannot wait for that. Nah. Do you know what? Me neither. Need to do another like, Great Western inside frame live stream. That lurker genuinely is my favourite Great Western lurker. It is a stunner. It's an absolute it's, stunner. It's can definitely I, up there with one of the most beautiful British lurkers. Can I play Devil's Advocate and say I don't like it that much? Shut up, sir. No. Wait, sorry, well, hang on. <laughs> I completely messed that up, didn't I? Yes, you did. Tom, goes, try again? Tom goes, 
Oh, do you know what? I don't like it. Sorry, straight away go, shut up, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm, so I'm just so used to you dissing the GWR. I'm just, it's like... I mean, don't worry, wrong. It's a, ni it's a nice looking engine, but it's not really my cup of tea. That's all right. It means there's more for the rest of us. A castle or something. <laughs> it just means that the finesse of British engineering can be appreciated by those that have a true appreciation of British locomotive engineering. Shut your left nostril. <laughs> to be fair, the amount of work I do with engineering, seeing as I now do it as my job, it does make you appreciate it a lot more. Like, you don't realise just how complex a steam locomotive is until you think, hmm, if I was trying to build one from scratch, how would I do it? Well, first you start with a boiler. <laughs> well, no. First you start with the frames. No, 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 in my reference, no. you can start. You're both wrong. Okay. First of all, you start with the design. No, 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 no. no, no. Three, three, three. Yeah. Why'd you go to get a kettle? But, you know, I mean, it boils down to, like, little things as well. For example, how do you get... Um, how do you get water into the boiler against 170-odd PSI? A pressure pushing against it. A jug. A gigantic a jug. jug. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a guy stood on the tender with a big jug going, come on, please take it in. And it's just like, no. Ah, hey, then no. Ah, hey, I don't know. It's, it's all right saying now, because we know you use injectors, but you've got to think, how did we come up with that in the first place? Through experimentation. And injecting heroin. And injecting. Through a lot of boiler explosions. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, that reminds me of that one boiler explosion picture I've seen where basically all of the boiler tubes have flown out the front and like massive piece of spaghetti. That was the right. American yeah. logo, wasn't it? Yeah. The one where they're all curved round it. Yeah, it just looks like it's like blown spaghetti out of its front end. It's just like... Bleh! That's kind of what it has done. I mean, sorry if someone died in that accident, but it still looks funny. I mean, I can understand a boiler explosion if there's like... You know, the RAF shooting, or not the RAF, the Luftwaffe oh, yeah. shooting at it, you know. <laughs> the one that blew up and took out the plane that shot it. Oh, that's an epic story. Isn't it just? What well, loco was it. it? What? That did that, that exploded and killed a, or took down the aircraft. What loco was it? Yeah. I can't remember. I'm pretty it sure was it was some little great tank Western. engine. I thought it was something Great Western. It might have been. It, let me guess, if it was Great Western, it was probably a pannier. You know, because they are dicks. Hey, hey. Good old Ted. So, uh, Rito Chacon has said, are there any other engines planned besides Dai, Ian, and Leslie in the Over the Hills reboot? No. no. Next. Next. Um, I'm going to say, another interesting boiler explosion would have been, um, you, you might have heard of this one, guys. It's um, the Puffing Devil. I Which think is, I have, Richard, actually. It's a Richard Trevific, um No, was it? Yeah, I think it was Trevific who built it. It was a road-going steam engine, basically. And they basically... The, the most legendary way it exploded was that they, they went for a test run of it, and they basically stopped off at the pub, left it outside, didn't bother checking on it, and the boiler exploded because there wasn't enough water in it. Now, that is one way to blow up a train. Just literally, let's just go to the pub. Fuck it. That's a very British way to blow up a train, isn't it? Pretty much. So where were you, driver, when the engine exploded? Oh, I was in oh, it. Well, hour off in pub, shit first. <laughs> I'm behind the counter having a bit of a fling with the barmaid. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly they all became northern. Yeah, I don't know why northern, because this is all happening in Wales. Well, we're in, <laughs> we're in Scotland right now. Exactly, so we're being multicultural. Yes. Political correctness for the win on AWP. So whilst we're talking about that, what's the population of sheep in Wales? Apparently, I, apparently Gwion says I'm a dick. Well, this is Gwion we're talking about. I mean, about. he's not wrong, but... And I can't see his comment in the chat. Uh, Wait, what? Maybe he's been kicked for, you know... Inappropriate language. I don't know. Maybe. But I also cannot see his comment. 
I can't see his comment in the in the chat, but it's come up on the on-screen chat. That is so weird. It's done that a few times with different people. This whole Streamlabs thing is really weird. Why well, don't use it? Anyway, trains. Trains. They go. I like trains. I like mm. trains. Mm -hmm. So there is something interesting we've got to mention, I suppose, about the Highland Jones goods, and that is that we, us on the testing team, we are all a bunch of freaking planks. We yeah. can't test it because nobody picked up something interesting on the tender. You mean the shit wheel like Reese was fascinated with? No, I mean, I mean lack of axles. <laughs> yeah, but you don't really need axles, do you? I you mean, axles are overrated. Are they actually? Yeah. Okay. No steam locomotive ever in history has ever needed an axle. I mean, technically, he's right. Yeah, I don't, the know, wheels... you, I don't know how you, who use you are anymore. But the thing. wheels are the important part. I mean, the axles just hold the wheels together. It's not that essential. <laughs> it is essential. Oh, I we, mean, you could. I can be, see Guion in be, the chat yeah. now. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I can. It says he's just written black magic. Black magic. He's, he's evil. He's a hacker. Shoot him. He is a. Yeah, he is a bit of a hacker. So, we are now that we can see you in the chat. Why am I a dick? Actually, that is a good question, and it's one that we can all answer in our own special way. <laughs> well, why? Why I am a dick. Yeah, I, 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 I've only got one. I've only got two words to say to you about why you're a dick, Reese, and that is, two years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't argue about that one. <laughs> no, we'll keep that one on the sideline for the time being. I can up it to three words and say a Great Western Railway. Oh, 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 that's ouch. Bit Sam, oof. mate. You yeah. just say none <laughs> is shit, and then you, you go off on a tangent. Oh, what are you saying, Tom? <laughs> Okay. Lum Lumbo is industrial. <laughs> yeah, and? If not... I don't know, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Tom was going to make a Lumbo joke and then check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I just threw it away. I, anyway, just, I don't know. I think it's the train. I've seen so many tank engines look very similar to Lumbo. Yeah, but none look quite as good. I know this is like asking anyway, a lot, but I do see well. 3D snow in the game. What, Reese? I was just going to say, I, I'd love to see like 3D snow in the game. You know, do you know what something would have been really nice in the like, train sim game? Where if it was snowing and snow started accumulating on the physical models, that would be something really awesome to see in a future simulator. It's something like they I do said, I'd, like, I'd like to see like winter. Wagons Done, right. and stuff like that. Yeah. No, but like coaches where they've got like patches of snow on the roof and stuff. Well, that's what I mean about dynamic snow oh. effects and whatnot. Like, well, yeah, but dynamic snow for train sim would be a bit of a big ask. Yeah, yeah, and I'm saying, but, is, what I'm saying is if it was a different simulator. Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is you could do something similar with this, sim uh, with it, this simulator. So, you know, like Chris has done a separate model for the big plow. Yeah. You could do something like that and have a winter model and have it separately labelled as winter and have it with bits of snow on. Hmm. That would probably be as good as it would get in this version of Train Sim. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Guiana said Train Sim World does snow accumulation. It's probably the only thing Train Sim World does that we actually want. Yeah. I mean, where's, yeah. the, team where's the multiplayer though? Where's the editor though? Exactly. Oh, Elliot Baker Skelhorn has uh, made an interesting comment there. 813 versus Nunlo, who would win? I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to say 813 wins. I just I like it a bit more than Nunlo. I would say Nunlo because Nunlo shakes around a lot more so it would be more likely to damage 813. I'm going to say it's probably going to be Nunlo for the simple reason that 813 is a She's a bit old, and she's a bit fragile now, as an old girl. She's yeah, got, to she's be fair. She's got to be looked after. She's not, you know, she if, if, if 
you know, you're comparing locos to old people in, you know, just old people in general. 813 is like an old girl in an old folks home now, enjoying her retirement. Whereas I mean, that being said, Nunlo is 82 now, yeah. but Nunlo was built in 1938, which by steam engine standards makes her fairly modern. Yeah, exactly. Whereas 813 is... I don't know when 813 were built. 1901, was it? Uh, yeah, see, Something Nunlo's like got that. like 30, nearly 40 years on 813. I thought it was built yesterday, but okay. <laughs> yes, it was definitely built yesterday. <laughs> when all my trouble seems so far away. See, it's funny that when you think about that, because you look at an engine like Tornado, and it's really difficult to believe that that thing's only 12 years old. Yeah. It's only when you look at sort of the subtleties in the design where it's got, you know, it's it's had tweaks done to suit modern technology. Yeah. So it's well, like it's had the electrics and all that lot built into it rather than being stuck on it. Well, apparently but, you can charge your mobile phone on the footplate, which I think is really cool. That is yeah. quite awesome. Can you just imagine that? You're on the phone to your other half while you're on the footplate of Tornado. You're like... Oh yeah, sorry love, I'm going to be late home for tea. Why? Because my train won't stop blowing off. I mean, I'm still waiting for Sam. I don't know when you're going to be able to, to do it. I'm waiting for you to take your laptop down to Ingro and just sit on the footplate of the coal tank and then just like make a video of you in the cab of the coal tank and train sim. Do you know, it is, it is actually on my to-do list, Reese, and I think the answer to that is going to be one, when the coal tank is put back together again, and two, when my laptop is put back together again. There is that. Well, if I, ever, really. if I ever come up in the next couple of years, I'll bring my laptop and I'll do it. Yeah. I mean, I could take it now, technically. The only issue is I'm concerned that the screen might fall off it. Yeah. Well, that's fair. Well, correction, I'm concerned that the screen will fall off it. It's literally just held on by the cable. So I'm going to take on water at the next station. Huh. I don't really need to, but I just like... I, what I should do is, these scenarios, I should start with like 30% water or something. Because I, I like just being... It adds something to do to stop yeah. the water. Do you know what I want to know? What do you want to know? I want to know how they dealt with water in freezing conditions. Well, they had... Most water towers had a little like um, fireplace thing. Well, I actually mean in the tender. Oh. So, if you take, for example, the weather we're in at the moment, if your loco had been in this weather for a week or so, all that water in the tender would be pretty darn cold. It'd be frozen. Um, that's a good point. Now, would the circulation of injecting it into the boiler be enough to stop it from freezing over? Or would you be like, oh yeah, we'll just stick the injectors on, oh uh, shit. I mean, that's actually a very good point. I mean, you could, I suppose, you could blow the injectors through with, um, you know, with steam, just to warm mm. up the metal. Or I'm going to overshoot. I'm not going to weigh in on this one, because I'm not actually sure how you would deal with a tender that's, got, that's full of frozen water. Well, I don't know if it would actually freeze over. I don't know if it would be cold enough to freeze it, but... I mean, Scotland can get pretty cold, and I reckon it could get cold enough. Like if you had, if you had a full tender and you left it overnight, I reckon you'd certainly have a layer of ice on it, if not, you know, even more. But I don't know if it'd be enough to actually stop it working properly, and if it would be, how they would deal with it. I mean, right. would you have to like leave a coal fire under the tender at night to keep it warm, or? I mean, I decided that I don't actually need water. Is that because you completely missed the water tower by it, any chance? It, it might be. It might have something to do with it. I just decided that my tender is absolutely full and I don't need any water. I'm running this um, route in the autumn, and I'll tell you what, it is a stunning little route, this. Oh, yeah. Which it's route? Very nice Tom. It's so atmospheric. Which one? This one. Space oh, Speyside, you're on. I thought you were doing the dark railway. No, 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 no,
He oh. switched over not to long ago. I, I obviously missed that then. Because <laughs> I was in Dufftown like maybe 20 minutes ago. Okay. Three days, everyone. Not paying attention since 2009. <laughs> well, 2006. We've said it. I said it before and we'll say it again. It's not like I can't drive in Train Simulator, it's just that like it lacks the attention span. <laughs> it's well, di it's difficult to live stream professionally and drive a train professionally. You have to make a sacrifice between the two. Yeah. Which one do you always make, Grace? Which one do you always make? He sacrifices both. Both at the same time. <laughs> Silly soft stuff. Yeah, so you told you, so we soft stuff, charge it at 50 mile an hour, be right. I can't do 50, I got an unfitted freight. Any excuse, Reese, any I know. excuse. I know. Do it for the fine. Do it for the fine. I mean, I suppose if you look at like the BR standard locos, they may have had some form of, you know, heating system. Maybe it circulated hot water or steam or something to keep the mm. tender water from freezing. Although here's an interesting one for you. You know that railway I mentioned in that the Caledonia Works chat, the Brienne's Roton Barn? Well, yeah, um, the steam sausage one. Yeah, the steam sausage one. Well, they've got five ele Well, they got five modern steam locos, but they can be plugged in during the winter. And they actually, <laughs> they keep the boiler water at a certain temperature. Like it's not actually boiling the water. It's just heaters to stop it from freezing. Yeah. And that like that's an example of how modern steam should be. Because, you know, in Switzerland it does get to like minus twenty or something in the winter when it snows. And that would obviously damage the locos. Yeah. Um, so they can actually leave them filled with water, but just leave the, leave them plugged in, which is quite cool, I think. Yeah, I think it is an interesting question though, isn't it? Well, that's what true modern steam is. Those little SLM tank engines. I am just about to pass through Black Spoat. I'm coming up to what's either... Do you know what? I can't actually read that from here. It's something beginning with an A and ending in a V. Oh, I know the one you're on about. Oh, I'm nearly coming up to the first distillery. Well, hey, time for a drink. It's time to do some shunting. What you need to do, Reese, is every time you reach a distillery, you need to take a drink. Well, I've already drunk my two cans of Dr. Pepper. Well, now you need to move on to your two bottles of whiskey. Oh, yeah, I'll just crack out the whiskey. Speaking of whiskey, have you ever played Shadow Ra Raid Legends? No. <laughs> no, because it's actually... Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Set. Oh, I, I nearly had it. Thank. Do you know what? <laughs> I really want to make a video one day where I'm like, this is over the hills, do the intro scene, and then instead of starting the actual video, I just go, have you, ever, like me, ever wanted to learn a new skill? Well, you can join Skillshare now. <laughs> or something like that. Well, you should um, reach out to them and get some sponsorships. I mean, I've already had a sponsorship for my last video. Which one? Uh, the one on the Jones Goods. Who sponsored you? Jeff and Cup the Creams. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Burp. Burp. They're tasty, apparently. And you aren't just paid to say that. Oh, no, I was ne never. I was never paid to say that. Don't, don't even rely on it, young man. <laughs> don't even count your whistle on it. One whistle. Two whistle. Ah, ah, Four ah, whistle. Ah, oh, you ah. missed one. Ah, ah, oh, ah, uh, ah, oh. ah, ah, ah. What are we earthing at? You and your face. Oh. oh, that's rude, but true. Sad but true. Tell you what, I do like this lurker. You say that about all Chris's locos. Yeah, but I particularly like this one. Train the, the Jones Goods isn't my favourite of Chris's Loco. Is that still, to be honest, I've got like, I've still got my like top three of my favourites, but at the moment, the one I enjoy the most is probably still the 28. Yeah, it's still Cold Tank favourite, but this is my second favourite. 
I don't know. I, do I really like the Abadir. You Abadir! I know. Dabba dee dabba. How Abadir are you? No, I yeah, you have that. Yeah, I love the Abadir, but I also love the Great Bear. Yeah, but the Great Bear is also the Great Boar. Well, I'm not gonna. You know, I'm. I'm just gonna say there's a bit of a pattern appearing in here, Rhys. Is it because it's Great Western by any chance? Well, that is that, that's the obvious choice. And you've I'm literally just said. Your two favourite Caledonia Works locos are both Great Western. Is your third favourite, by any chance, the 28? Uh, well, funnily enough, Sam, no. <laughs> it is, actually. I, I do like the 28 yep. a lot. <laughs> so, so, your top three, top three... Your top three are the only three Great Western locos he's currently got released. That's not a coinkydink at all, is it? To be fair, let me um, mm. I'll go back. There's, there are, was it the Caledonian dock tank? I absolutely love that thing. Um, the Great Central ROD, was it the, R the 04? I love yeah. that yeah. machine. Um, and the, the 9N as well. Oh, the um, A5, yeah. The A5 is a little, one of my personal favourites. What's the other one oh. that he did? Um, uh... I quite like the 191. Is it the L91? No, I can't think what it is. L77. Yes, uh, the N7. L yes, the N7. I love that one. That's cool as well. Nah, my, my favourite one's obvious, but... Duh. But there's quite a few, like, Caledonia Works locos that are pretty good as well. Like, the 191 is probably one of my top favourites as well. For mm. Caledonian locos, anyway. The Pickersgill 944 is interesting too, but maybe, I don't know, it's, it's, I don't know, it's difficult to say. Like, the Class 34 as well was intriguing, but only because you could probably put a deck chair and a, and a table on that, on that front end. <laughs> yeah. Hence yeah, I've got to admit, that well, I don't think I've ever been disappointed with a Caledonia Works product. Hmm, it's... I'm trying to think if there is, actually. Like... I'm trying to think if Chris has actually made something that I would count and disappointing. Um, yeah, I think everyone I've hopped into have liked. Hmm. I think maybe the 600 for me, actually, funnily enough. Which one was the 600? Well, that the you big know, long, the long Caledonian boy, one. The taffy pillar, as we call it. Yeah. That one to me, like... I think it's because it was probably like Chris's early days, but it felt very much like the... It didn't really feel any different to the 812 beforehand. It was just... Yeah. You know, the physics were the same. The livery selection was a little bit... Meh. I mean, I'm, I'm just being incredibly critical because I do like a lot of Chris's stuff. I'm just being... I'm trying to think... I, like, I believe in being quite fair and not being a yes man. And not saying, oh yeah, I love absolutely everything just because X, Y, Z. There are certain things that on a loco, like, you know, just in the interest of fairness. I mean, I can even say about, I mean, like, granted, I could say about the tender axles being missing on this, but that's a testing bug, really. But I yeah. suppose the only thing about the Jones Goods, really, that I think it's still always going to be, I know I've had it explained to me, but the way that the um, crosshead the piston doesn't go immediately like straight into the cylinder if you look at it um it's sort yeah of that i think is an animation issue but it's still something worth pointing out as a a dis something that can be considered slightly disappointing or whatnot it's the same as um certain camera views have been disappointed me actually in some of chris's stuff where the camera doesn't seem to be focused in the right place especially at the front of the logo looking back at the smoke box like, it seems off can, like, as if it's not lined up properly. Or, like, it's just copy and pasted from a different one. Again, these are small nitpicks, but in the interest of fairness, I can't turn around and say, yes, every single Caledonia works loco is perfect, because that would be unfair. Yeah. So, especially because, I mean, I'm, I, I must admit, I went off on a bit of an aggro tangent earlier on when I discovered that Bossman Games are doing the unrebuilt, well, sorry, not unrebuilt, original Merch Navy but he's not doing the original version with the Widow Peak. I literally threw my face at a wall. That's how cross I was. Because I really love that Widow Peak look to 21C1 to 21C10. Mm. Yeah, I've got to admit, that's one of my favourite looks for that lurker. 
Yeah, because it's very flat as well. That's what I like about it. It actually showed what Bully was on about with, oh, I want to have a loco that I can shove through a carriage washer. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, sorry, I went off on a bit of a tangent there, boys and girls. I'm trying to be fair. I don't like I don't like being a yes man all the time. I must admit. And to be fair, I don't think it really works if you do, because if you say yes, everything's great, then how do the devs ever know what they need to improve on? Exactly. But you also don't want to be going around going everything's shit all the time. I mean, for example... That's slightly could, opposite. Yeah, I mean, for example, I could turn around and say, you know, stuff about the DT Spinner that's just come out today, but I can't say jack all about it because I haven't actually purchased it, so my, my opinion would be null and void. Um, you know I have purchased that, and I may well take it for a spin on the S&C after we've done this. I think that's an absolute atrocity, just for the, <laughs> just because not fair. I've I've not bought it either. No, I mean I've got I've got a slightly personal reasons as to why. I will admit the coaches do look quite good. Yeah. Yeah. I think it looks good. I do like a good coach. Where I'll give it a I... test drive and let you know what I think of it. Where should I put these barrels? Or some of these barrels? Get it down your neck. Get it down, you Zulu warrior. Whereabouts are you, Reese? I am at... He's sat in his house, Tamdu. playing Where? Where, where Reese? Tamdu. Where, where the heck is that? Wherever that is. Stop. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to work where is that? that? Uh, I'm, I, well, I'm coming into Adby, wherever that is. Oh, you've gone past us then. Oh, I've gone through you two, have I already? Yep. I'm a. Uh, is it Balin Dalox? Something like that? Oh, yeah, you've got Balin Bollocks. No can do. It's further up there. Yeah, I've already gone through you two, so I didn't get derailed, thank God. Yeah, I don't even you... know how many wagons I've just uncoupled. Well, actually, there is one thing I will give credit for for the Joker Goods as well that I think is something that is a new, a new, um, what do you call it, staple point for Caledonia Works stuff if he carries on using it, and that is Substance Painter. Yes. Because that makes it look, it gives you that grime but clean look, and it just looks more realistic in respect of the weathering and, you know, um, I've already talked in depth about that before, but I just think that's a nice little thing that's, you know, I, I, I actually do wonder how many other devs use such a paint for actually, funny enough. Yeah, and it's nice that, like you said, it, it sort of, it adds weather, it adds a weathered look without taking away from the clean look. Yeah, it basically... It adds sort of, like, it is very subtle, yeah. I mean, like, you go to a preserve railway, you look at a steam engine that's in clean condition, it's not going to be... 100% dirt and spec free all over because it's just impossible to clean certain areas because of the shape of the locomotives. Well, I can say that like, even with. Don't be dead. No, no, no. I'm going to say BLS Shut stuff. Up. But. No, no, no. Hear me out here. No. Because we'll... no, no, no. no I it... clean all the time because I no, clean no. Hear me out, guys. <laughs> but seriously, whenever we, do, whenever we do BLS stuff, before we stick a fire in it, it's spotless. But, by the time we leave Shed, it isn't. Regardless of how clean it is when we start... I don't believe you at all. <laughs> no, right, Tom, I'll do to you what I did to Reese. You can come up and see for yourself. No, I'm not going all the way to the Keyflame Worth Valley Railway. Too short. To be absolutely fair, I, did, I went there and Sam showed me the coal tank and I have to admit, I did eat my words. See? <laughs> but... Even when we turn them out in that condition, as soon as you stick a fire in, as soon as you get soot coming out of that chimney, it gets on the paintwork. And as soon as you open that regulator, that's it. It's not clean until the end of the day again. Oh, Reese, you're running the pug as a tender engine. Yes. O four po O four O tender logo. 
Hmm. I wonder if I should do a reskin of that. Oh god, stop. No. No. Stop. Fullerston. Reese, oh, you yeah. have remembered that like, this is an uncoupled train and you're in the snow with no grip, haven't you? Um, yes. It's fine, I love train sim. I love train sim and it's buggy physics. Is this a. Thank goodness the buffers buffed me back. No, it's um, thank goodness the buffers are see through. Yes. <laughs> I do have to oh, call yeah, you up there we go. So I'm not very happy about with your pug. Sorry? You didn't. I'm very unhappy with what you've done with your pug, which is you've got the BR number, but the Caledonia Railway um, tender. You should have had the bauxite one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it. That's it. You know, I'm. I am now the accuracy police. I'm not happy. Do you know what, Tom? I'm actually going to correct you and say he should have had the Caledonian pug. Okay. Either way. Do you know why I'm going to say that? Because he's got Caledonian wagons. He's got a Caledonia brake tender. He's got Highland Railway wagons, and he's got a Highland Railway loco. Alright, fair days. You win. But fuck you. Go away. Thank you. Where's my money? Um. Up my ass. It's Fine, with I'll go get it laundered. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's got I'll six bags out. of cocaine up there as well. <laughs> I've also got a dinosaur up there, but that's another story. Oh, bloody hell, I forgot the brake van. We've left the brake van behind. We've left it behind. I love behind. how nobody in the chat that. decided to tell me about that. Because everyone wants to see you fail me, so that's literally the definition of your streams, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to say, that's probably where you get half of your viewers from. Well, to be fair, someone did say the other day that a lot of people only watch to see when Reese crashes, which is really unfair. There are. But like, we get 60 people watching. I bet we'll have another 40 people who just, like, skip to the part where I crash. Maybe. Yep. What I want everybody who's Ooh, watching right now... Oh, that's a hill. Everybody who's watching the video right now, I want... Oh, put brakes on, stop. Uh, Whatever Reese is going to say, it's not going to work. No, don't go any further, and it's derailed. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Well done, Reese. Nicely okay. handled. Right. And. Back to the loading screen. I can't remember I the last time I saved. I do love the way that that happened, though. Like, you bumped into the trucks, they rolled off the line, it was just like a literally a what the fuck moment, man. It was. Yeah, but like it happened in slow motion as well. Yeah, amazing. Come on, Trinity. Like, nope, 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 uh, shit. Have you derailed as well? Yeah, I was gonna say before I derailed, 60 people watching the live stream, I want every single one of you to leave a comment after the live stream or in the chat, not in the chat, in the comment section. Like skip to whatever time in the video as a timestamp to watch him derail, and see how many people get really frustrated that there's timestamps but there's no actual derailment. <laughs> there you go. Does that help? <laughs> skip to right now to watch me derail. But that doesn't give a timestamp. Exactly. Well, it in itself is a timestamp. <laughs> Com uh, completely missed the point. <laughs> yep. Ooh. Well, Reese, I think you missed the points as well. Oh, why did I press replay? That I shouldn't have done that. I need to... Nope, you shouldn't. I should. So, <laughs> this is what we were saying earlier on about being professional streamers. We literally are not. Like, <laughs> we can't stream for shit, Reese. So I don't know why we try half the time. No, I don't know why we bother. Well, it's like you said, Tom. People come to watch you fail. Pretty much. There's a lot of other professional streamers out there. Yeah, and we you are mean certain of them. Just there is professional streamers out there. Yeah, there's Alan Thompson, don't you know? No. That, D <laughs> that DJ productions, they're quite good. Uh, the, the, uh, what? <laughs> I don't no, think I'll say so now. I wouldn't bother with that channel. Ugh. No, I, I think I want to throw that one in the bin. I'm going to unsubscribe. Well, you heard it here first, folks. DDJ is shutting down. I'm going to unsubscribe from my own channel. I'm going to throw it in the bin. And I'm going to go make musicals instead. 
Hang on a minute, Reese tried doing that, but it wouldn't let him delete it. I know, I tried to delete my YouTube channel, it wouldn't let me. Is that almost the same way in deleting, um, you can't delete your, um, incognito history? <laughs> Wait, you Which can't. is kind of awkward. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, right, people are using your incognito tabs, somewhere, somebody is able to differentiate all of that and, you know, decide for what websites you've been to. It actually physically says it does not hide your activity from your web supplier. So, for me anyway, Virgin Media know exactly where I've been going all the time. Yeah, to be fair, literally all Incognito does is not record the dirt you put in, so it doesn't record your browsing history and it doesn't record your, um, like your cookies and all that lot, but it still... Registers of you going, it basically it yeah. still registers you pinging to that website. Yeah. It, it still it still knows where you've been and everything you've gone to because it has to. That's how browsers work. So all that porn you've been watching, there's still a record of it. Yep. Yep. Pretty much. Yep. Then again, anybody who says they don't watch porn is a liar. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> what you're looking at right now, ladies and gentlemen, is a liar. <laughs> Angry liar productions. Angry. Oh, is it? It's not as bad as Angry Volvo productions. Angry Volvo. Well, yeah, do you remember Cat the other day? No. Because he was on, he's on, well, in Grid 2, he's got this Volvo and he calls it the Angry Volvo. So I told him he needs to start making a channel called Angry Volvo Productions. Who was that? Callum. Oh, Callum, right. Yeah, Jesus Christ, Reese. Catch up, man. You were literally in the conversation when we were having it. <laughs> Tom, I haven't slept in nine months. <laughs> well, that's your fault for having a child. Yeah, it's completely yeah, beast. My fault. What were you thinking? I am so selfish. <laughs> so selfish, banging on those jeans. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to try this again. Oh dear. Meanwhile, I am 11 miles away from Boat of Garden. No, he's not. I am. He's I'm lying. coming up to Nokanda. Is that really what it's called, Nokanda? Nokanda? Oh, that's a really weird way of saying it. Not nervous. Probably like more like Knockender, I'd say. Probably, but you know, your we're gonna accent. It, we're gonna pronounce it. I'm, I'm gonna pronounce it the southern way. Knock him out. There you go. That wasn't actually southern, was it? Fuck! I, I ruined my, <laughs> my life. Right, that's Not it. really. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. Angry sacked productions. <laughs> Is this where you are, Reese? What? Is this where you are, Alice Knockender? Uh... No, I'm at Tamdu. Why the heck is Tamdu? Well, it's it in like Tamdu. It sounds like a planet. I know. Ta like Tatooine. Tamdu. It's in a nebula system, that's all I know. Nice. Oh man, you've made me. I've made myself want to go and download Universe Sandbox 2 again. I have literally no idea where you are, Reese. There's like a corner bit that I'm on. I thought you said there's a porno bit then. <laughs> yes, there's, there's porno on the corner. Oh, God, Wait, I did, stop. I, I didn't realise you were on the uh, outskirts of Slough. Ooh. Literally, I cannot stop this thing. That was funny about the Cummings livery, right? It's that when you look at it, you never stop coming. <laughs> That's because it's a beautiful loco. Yay! Just because I ran over six sailing boats coming up the Newport Main Channel doesn't mean that I'm sleeping on the bridge. <laughs> I mean, what? What? <laughs> what are we, what are we <laughs> talking about? Well, I love it. I, like, uh, I put a photo, and Reese Jones, he was he has a sailing yacht on the River Usk, so he like passed me. He took a photo of me bringing the ship past. And he was like, it's nice to see a ship actually doing the speed limit. And I was like, there's a speed limit? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, there is actually one set of sounds I like on the Jones Goods, and that's when it's at about 32 miles an hour. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Ah, I see what you did there. <laughs> that wasn't even intentional. Oh, that was a happy coincidence. Now we've got to back up about four miles. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Hey, I wonder if, because he's restarted it, well, 
gone and loaded in when he's already coupled up. I wonder if it'll change. Yeah, the that's a good point. Well, it didn't feel it didn't feel like it, but I won't know until I try pulling off again. I beg your pardon. What? Is that? <laughs> I I got that as well. That's funny. Is that really appropriate, Reese? Yes. Who cares? This is good coke. <laughs> Break scarred, please. But before we could check them, nope. they fucking surge sideways. <laughs> In fact, talking of brakes, I am just going to put the handbrake on the brake van. And it's done absolutely nothing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is what driving in the winter in TS feels like all the time. Do you know why it's done nothing, Reese? Why? The issue is the wheels aren't turning, they're just sliding on the top of the rails. It's an ice skating rink. It literally is. I think the real issue here, Reese, is that you're just a ham sandwich. Well, there is that. <laughs> I've just saved the game. Let's go get Smokey Joe. Smokey Joe, Smokey Joe, oh, Smokey, 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 Smokey Joe, Smokey Joe, oh, Smokey. Where the hell did my boiler pressure go? I'm down to 130 psi. Oof. Well, you did say you were trying to run it down a bit. Yeah, so now it's time to build it back up again. A bit. I get knocked down, and I get up again. So I'm stationary, but I'm still wheel slipping. That's what I like but to hear. The wheels aren't actually moving, but train sim's got the wheel slip flashy warning thing. Yeah, that is a weird bug. It's just train sim, isn't it? It's just, it's not it really. It is a bit of a buggy mess, really, when you look at it. Yeah. I mean, people talk about like Bethesda and EA and, and all bugs and that, but they're not. They've never really tried train sim, have they? To be fair, though, we haven't got dragons that fly backwards, have we? Well, not yet, but I'm sure it could be arranged. I think we should put it in. Well, we've got drivable Simba, haven't we? That's the next thing. I still haven't downloaded or tried that because I think that's the most ridiculous thing on Earth, apart from the Super Forty Seven, which is amazing. Yeah, but I think it's also kind of nice to have ridiculous stuff like that every now and then. I remember there used to be a UFO. <laughs> you know, I think it was in MFTS. Oh yeah, I remember that. And I had a, um, a Y... was it a Y7? No, it might be a Y7. Basically it was a low 40 um, tank engine, the North Eastern Railway one. Is it, it might be the Y7. And I souped it up in MFTS to go like a million miles an hour so I could get from one end of S... One end of the set and Carlisle to the other in like five minutes. <laughs> it was great because obviously in MFTS you couldn't derail. Yeah. Well, you could. Well, you, you could, but not in. The... Oh no! Yeah, if you if you change the physics enough, you couldn't. Yeah. Which was me. Tell you what, credit where credit's due. MSTS is, it is a good game. Was. No, it still is. As open rails. Like, it's it's not as good as Train Sim, but it's just got such a huge range of stuff you can stick in it. It's got a big following still too, actually. And there's a lot of content for MFTS. You can pretty much have anything in MFTS, I think. I remember yeah. the other day I used to drive Big Bertha on the West Somerset Railway in there. That was something I'll never forget. Bertha. Oh, Bertha. Bertha. You are a lovely machine! Do you remember that video? The same guy that did um, Shape yes. 17? <laughs> actually, me and Gwion actually watched that the other day. We were doing a watch party and we were watching Birth of the Untold Story and it was actually pretty awesome to sort of like... What was the term we do? Basically the way that it was taking a children's TV show but putting a completely different spin on it, a much darker spin that isn't really seen and it's just kind of interesting how they build that world into something darker. It's like they, what they, it's basically the same as they did with Shed 17 and G1. But it's just kind of nice to see those properties getting looked at again. Like, I mean, not many people know about Bertha. No. I don't. But I remember watching it as a kid. i got to be honest. Uh, Shed 17, when it first came out, properly freaked me out. It shat me up, but it, then G1 came out, and I was like, eh. G, G1 was just too ridiculous, I think. Yeah, yeah I it was too over the top. top. It was especially, just too far. Especially you guys the first version. 
first cut. Yeah, I was going to say, did you guys watch the first cut? Because I remember being there on the night watching the first cut, and even I thought to myself, is that really what they're doing? Oh my god, no! <laughs> Wasn't yep. it like after the first night it got removed because it was and so... And then you had to... Yeah. yeah. Cause yep. it, it, was, it was so bad that even YouTube turned around and said, now you got you got to do something about this. It was horrendous. But, to be fair, I think that was also kind of the point of it. Yeah, but when you're on a platform like YouTube, I think sort of glorifying that kind of act is going... No matter what medium you're doing it in, is going to cause issues, especially the way they are with being very PC, YouTube are. Yeah. So I can I, I can understand it, but I get his point though, which was that basically showing um well, actually do you know what it kind of reminds me of those people who like get married like that I'll never forget this. A woman married a Ferris wheel. <laughs> like yeah, just because she could. Yeah. Just because she wanted because she was in love with it. Or people who married cars or that woman who married a train station, what the f- I know. So oh. hey, Nunlo's not off the table then. Well, hey, no. <laughs> Wait, you're, you're in, you Sam. Are. You're in. There you Sorry. go. But um, no, I, I think it's sort of <laughs> Sam's off to the co-op to buy some flowers. <laughs> it, goes, it, it goes into the shed at the um, BLS and just like I bought you a surprise, Nunlo, and then he just sees that another fit is working on her at the point, and he just drops the flowers. Yeah, but just... they have like that really dramatic like. Bang, bang, bang! There's the another, the there's another fitter action. in there with his hand up her ash pan. <laughs> and Sam is just completely distraught and just can't, can't even. So he returns to Bahamas for a shoulder to cry on. And Bahamas is like, I'm a Jubilee, I'll take care of you. And then it kills her because we know what Jubilees are like in this universe. Yeah, I know. There's one yeah. buried in a tunnel, isn't there? Uh, well, no, her parts are scrapped now. There's another one that's pretending to be another one. There's another one that was scrapped by some dude up in Scotland, and no, not Scotland, sorry, in the eastern region, and was burnt alive. Um, yeah, Jubilee don't really do very well in my mind, at least. They're a bit yeah. Scary. They're a bit scary when you think about it. Okie dokie, that's interesting wheel slip. Have you noticed that Transim has two different types of wheel slip? Yeah, you've got brake, um, you've got under brake load wheel slip and um, physical like rail adhesion wheel slip. Have you <laughs> noticed that in the winter the two wheel slips can get mixed up? Yeah, so you'll have your wheel spinning like mad, but it's when you're under braking load. I've or, actually got it the other way around. Oh, what? Your your wheels have stopped moving, but it's under wheel spin load. Yeah. Adhesion. What is it? It's adhesion versus load, isn't it? No, braking physics or whatever. I don't bloody know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm basically, you've got the wheels stop when you're braking yeah. and they spin when you're moving, when you're pulling yeah. or pushing. Push! I can't push because <clears throat> my doctor has forbidden me. Right, so Reese, on your stream, are you going to cock up again? Probably. Yes. Hooray! I'm saving I'm it have a, at every I'm gonna have a, I'm going to have a successful run to Boat of Garden today. That was interesting. I don't want, and that doesn't want me to happen. Hmm. Apparently there's a station here, but I can't see. Oh, there it is. It's called John Station. I love it when those surprise stations come out of nowhere. Well, it's when you can see it on the hood, but you can't actually see it on your screen. Yeah. And then you realise it's because it's a tiny platform. Well, I'm nearly at my cherry's end. What? Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> Literally second time in a row. How have I done that? <laughs> Fucking second from disaster. Save game. I've put all the brakes on my the whole fit it on the freight now so I won't uh, send it through the buffers. Heard that one before. I know, right? He went through the buffers. Buff it went. Buff and buff and buff and buffers. Oh!
Right, let's try and do this properly now. Break fan. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Let's Sorry, go. I shouldn't really laugh, should I? No! Off we go! It's time to put this brake van back on the freight. You're a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. Farewell. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys like tanks? Do no. You like feet? Then it's time for you to play Raid Shadow Legends. The stream is totally not sponsored by them at all. Or discover a new book on Audible. No, oh, no, don't start with Audible. No, no, I, I hate that. Download a free, uh, download a free audio book. It's like, no, I came here to watch different stuff. I don't want to download a fucking audio book because I've got the patience. The worst thing is when you've downloaded one and then it will constantly ask you to re-download. Yeah, like, I'm not joking. Better. On YouTube now on my phone, it's literally the only ad I get. I mean, and it's just, it's ridiculous. Oh. I think one of, the, one of the weird adverts I get is, um... Oh, excuse me. <gasps> Trainception like, has happened. It just sort of starts Again? off with, like, um... Not everybody is a trader, but if you are a trader, it's like... You literally just said not everybody's a trader. I'm not a trader, I'm not interested. Go away. Yep. Should I, uh, do some banking? Carry I don't think one. you really need to, but... You need to, well, what you need to do, Reese, is carry the one... Take away the 15, add 20%. Yes. Please tell me you get my joke. He doesn't get my joke, does no, he? No, I don't get it. <laughs> Bank well banking, done, Reese. Banking, banks, money, percentages. Jesus Christ. Tom percentages? Oh, that reminds me of Charlie on the Chocolate Factory. In income, man. Not income. Um, investment tax. I'm going anyway, to give my freight a shove out of the station. Off we go. Because this can only end well. I may or may not be back shortly. See you in a minute. See ya. Banking assistance. Is it working? It is, actually. Really? Yeah. Yeah, how about that? A surprise to be sure, but a welcome. Oh, we're taking a little super pug for a, a trip. <laughs> Let me guess, because you're driving the pug and not the German's good, you can't properly detach it? Probably. Let's see what happens if I uh, uncouple it on the fly. Well, that went spectacularly bad. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but the brake van is now on its side. <laughs> Right, well, we'll, uh... That went about as well as could be expected. It's a good thing I saved the game just before I did that. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that happened. Nicely handled. I could just resume the scenario though, that's good. Yeah, see, it's not really an option for me because it takes a lot long for it to load back in again. Yeah. Right.
I'm just trying to uh, slow down enough so I can detach my uh, banking train. Yeah, I think um, it depends about the controls. The default, it's, uh, if it thinks you're driving the pug, you'll have to stop and then switch to the Jones before you can uncouple. However, if it thinks you're driving the Jones, you should just be able to drop it off the back. Yeah, it's basically if um, if it thinks you're driving the pug, the germs will try and stop and you'll just run into the back of it. Whereas if you do it the other way around, the pug should try and stop and you should just keep going. Although the sad thing now is the fire mass is back at full. Yeah. Kiss goodbye to you eardrums. I didn't need them anyway. Yeah, drums are overrated. And I think it has defaulted to that thing that Tom said when you start in a scenario. Yeah. Although I'm on a much shorter train now. I think the pug is off on its own adventure. That's probably a bad thing because it means it will randomly derail at some point. Yeah, it's just it's doing its own wonderful thing right now. Oh dear. And the wheels on the wagon are going round. That's interesting. Oh well. Run away little pug, be free! Be free, my buggy friend. So we're off to the next station. Where I believe... Oh, yeah. It is doing its own weird thing, isn't it? We need to shunt our wagons into a siding because we have to take over on a passenger service for the rest of the, the journey. Because of the snow, one of the other passenger services has run into trouble further up the line. So we got to take over. Mm. Oh, I'm tired now. Ah, it's been hard work. Actually, also, I don't know where, but at some point I've overtaken you. I think. Have you? Well, have I think so, because I've absolutely no idea where you are. Have you gone Come past on. Karen? I think so. Guys. Arrow. Just let you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna bail for a bit. So um, good luck with the rest of the stream, boys. All right. Scumbag. Yep. See ya. All that first seed again in the stream. Yep. And you bail and out. Yeah. Asshole. Yep. These yes, I have gone past. All Kevin. right. Take it easy, Tom. See you soon. <laughs> See you later, Reese. Bye. See you, Tom. See you later, everyone. Scumbag. <laughs> right now, Tom is gone. We can talk about him. Woohoo! I've run out of stuff to say about him, what's next? I know, me too. I think I'm going to run all the way up to Keith. Yeah, I'm going all the way. But Let's I'm taking over a passenger the service. Let's go all the way. I do remember the last time we did a stream on this route, it did take quite a while. Yeah, we've been going about an hour and a half so far. Yeah. Well, in game time at least. I think the route's about 40 miles, uh, Riso. I'm increasing my speed. You finally decided to kiss the speed limits goodbye? Yeah. Yay. I've delivered the empty whiskey barrel, so that's fine. Yeah, I generally default to line oh, speed. Oh, crap! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. So, um, have you by any chance forgot to change the points? No, points are good. Oh! Oh, well, that train is actually facing the wrong direction. Oh? As it turns out, I was supposed to take that the rest of the way. 
Do you know what? Screw it. I'm not even going to bother since it's, it's facing the wrong way anyway. I'm just going to carry on and take these all the way to the end. My fully improvised uh, freight. <laughs> ah, I see. That's a nice bridge. <laughs> oh yeah, have you seen anything you want to nick through over the hills? Yeah, there's a few little things like bridges and stuff. I'm going to say, if you see it, you'll have to make a note of it and give us a shout. Well, uh, if I do, I'll take a screeny. Cheeky screeny. Hey, look, it's downhill here. Hey, look, I can't stop. <laughs> Who needs to stop? It's fine, I've got a snowplow on, I'll just move whatever's in the way out of the way. I'm being asked by someone, can you guys do the Cumbres and Toltec Railroad in the snow? I don't think that exists in Train Sim. I've not heard of it. Cumbres and Toltec. I don't think it's with me. I mean, it's all very well asking us to do something for, you know, a live stream, but if it doesn't exist in the game, we can't really do a lot, can we? Yeah, and if it does exist and we haven't heard of it, we kind of need to tell him where it is and how much it is and all that sort of stuff. The important question for Yorkshiremen. Ah, no, I just clipped me in my... Ah, oh, train sims just died. Oh. Yeah. Train sims died. What was said important question you were about to ask? Um, I can't remember. Oh, uh, guys, my whole computer is locked up. And to be honest, since that's happened and I can't do anything about it, I think it's probably best just to call it there for a live stream because now I cannot do anything. Mm. I can't even go to the main menu to uh, to do anything. I, I can't. My computer's locked up. Fair enough. So in that case, I think well, it's better to just call it there. Computer doesn't feel very happy right now. Computer says no. Computer definitely says no right now. Anyway, we well we've run the the Jones goods for a bit. Hopefully we can pick that up again another time or. Maybe we'll do it in the summer or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll call it there. Anyway, guys, that is the um, Caledonia Works Highland Railway Jones Good. So I hope you've enjoyed the live stream. There's been a few disasters up until now. Um, and that was the Space Side Line. So I was joined tonight by Sam of Blast Pipe Productions. Hello. Oh, goodbye, I guess. And also uh, Tom, but he's already gone. So, yeah, I think it is a good time to end it anyway. We've been going more than an hour and a half. There we yep. go. Alright, thanks for joining us and good night. Goodbye, everybody.